Well, Thursday marked the National Day of Action Against Coal Ash. It's a product of burning coal, which includes toxic material. The Clean Water Action Group wants the feds to regulate. And as Caroline Vanderger reports, there are thousands of coal ash disposal sites in the country, including here in mid-Michigan. Burning coal for power. It's a common practice in the U.S., but it leaves behind a potentially hazardous material. Coal ash is the byproduct of burning coal to create energy. It is a toxic waste product that is full of contaminants. Coal ash and the way it's disposed garnered national attention in December of 2008 when a retaining wall broke in Tennessee. A billion gallons of coal ash sludge spilled into two rivers and buried 400 acres of land six feet deep. Experts call it one of the largest toxic waste spills in U.S. history. Ten months later, the Environmental Protection Agency proposed federal standards for coal ash disposal. But yet two years later, we have not seen anything finalized. That's why the Clean Water Action Group is pushing for strong regulations of coal ash disposal sites, like this 51-acre site off Comfort Street in Lansing. It's an unlined pit bordering the Grand River and a residential neighborhood. The Lansing Board of Water and Light used to dump coal ash there more than 30 years ago. Many, many people have no idea if there's a coal ash disposal area in their neighborhood that they could be potentially exposed to the contaminants that leak from coal ash disposal areas. BWL has been working to clean up the site since the spring of 2009, but says it still has more than 300,000 cubic yards of coal ash left to excavate. Susan Harley says it's a step in the right direction in Lansing, but more can be done statewide. This is something that's been going on for decades, but it's time that we take action now to stop. In Lansing, Caroline Vandergriff, Fox 47 News. The EPA says one in 50 people will get cancer living near a coal ash site that has contaminated drinking water. Environmental groups are calling out to their elected officials, urging them to regulate the disposal. You can follow the movement on Twitter with the hashtag Kick Coal Ash. Advocacy groups are making an effort to speak out against the dangers of coal ash sites. Here's a group rallying outside the ash site owned by the Border of Water and Light on Muskegon and Comfort Street. They're pushing for federal protections of coal ash storage. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency announced an intention to pass rules two years ago, but nothing has happened since.